Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. This video should be quick. We're going to talk about buses, um, the difference between auxiliary bus and master bus and stuff like that. So let's dive in. So let's start with creating a project. I'm going to go here and create a multi-project. Of course, I'm going to redirect it to the right folder. And we're going to start with uh, two tracks to aux. Let's choose the first track. It's going to be mono. Then um, my mic is on this input. It record. This is a test of recording in Samplitude Pro X6. All right. Um, let's bring the mixer. So you see our tracks and uh, of course the master channel and there's already two auxiliary bus so the way that the mixer of Samplitude has been designed is to replicate the analog world uh, the physical mixers that we used live and in some studios so the first thing that you see is that each track has an output so you see here the output you can choose where to send it and those are different physical output of my uh, interface and on the top here are the buses that we can create and as you see there's no auxiliary uh, buses shown there so what it does if i hit play uh, the signal from this object will be played according to the, this gain here the gain and of course, the level at the end of all these uh, things that we, we can change. And it, the output will be going to the stereo master, which is this. Okay. So if I hit play, you won't hear it because I did not redirect audio to OBS now. OBS is the software that I use to capture this image. So if I hit play, this is a test of recording in Samplitude Pro X6. Okay, so what you heard were com was coming from uh, this mic and not from the software itself. So the auxiliary bus, usually um, you can send many channels to one auxiliary bus and each can have a different uh, level sent to it. I will explain. So the auxiliary send are right here you can hit the plus and show more if you click on this rectangle you will be shown the name of the auxiliary bus like this and then you can choose to send a signal and of course the levels can be different from every send and of course uh, if you have multiple tracks with data on it uh, this one can go just lightly and this one can go uh, fully to the auxiliary bus. Okay, so there's, it's like a mixer in a mixer, if you wish. And what you decide to do with the auxiliary bus could be different depending on your needs. Because the auxiliary bus also have outputs. So you can choose different outputs. Okay. So if I wish to send some audio to OBS, so you can hear something uh, on this video, I will redirect one auxiliary bus to OBS via an output of my interface. So I can choose another output. I will choose phones. And this is a software output that will be found in the, my RMA Total Mix FX. And this phones is redirected to this output. And there's a loopback um, to send 
this output to the input. Very complicated, but this, this part is not very important. It's just for you to hear something via OBS when I capture images. And in OBS, I will uh, capture this input, um, the according input, which is the last one right here, will be sent to OBS. Uh, and it's a virtual uh, redirection. Okay, let's get back. So what I said first is that each track has an output and the auxiliary buses have outputs as well. What we want to do is send some signal uh, to the auxiliary that will send information to OBS. So let's do that. Auxiliary 2, I'm going to call it OBS. And then activate it and I will send it near 0 dB. And now if I hit play, this is a test of recording in Samplitude Pro X6. All right, what you heard now wasn't from the microphone, but directly recorded through the software and sent back to OBS directly. All right, another thing we can do is use a different kind of bus. If we go into setup, there's sub mix bus. As the name uh, suggests, it will create a sub mix. So it will reunite many tracks and uh, the signal will be grouped in this bus. So let's create one. Okay. And what we can do is um, send maybe this track to the bus, uh, which will be called main. Okay. And for now, the output of this submix bus is the master. Uh, so that's what I'm hearing in my monitors. So if, if I want to send some signal to the main bus, the main submix bus, uh, there's no uh, volume anywhere that I can use to do that. We need, we need to change the output of the track. So we go there and we change to this new submix bus. You see, it goes to main and then the main goes to the master. The thing is, if the output of this main does not go to the master and I hit play, nothing will be heard because the output of the track does not go to the master uh, like it was doing before. It's going to the main submix bus. I'm going to call it submix bus. Submix. Okay, but of course, if I direct it to OBS, if I change the output to phones, then if I hit play, the software will receive some signal, but I won't hear anything. This is a test of recording in Samplitude Pro X6. Okay, and if I play again and you will hear only the microphone, Okay, we don't hear anything. Another thing that I can do is say, okay, I'm going to send that sub mix to the master. So if I hit play, I will hear the signal, but I'm going to use the auxiliary OBS bus to send to OBS the signal. And I'm going to do that by using the auxiliary send of the sub mix bus going back to the auxiliary bus. So right here, we're gonna go like that. So I will hear it and the and OBS will hear it as well. And the good thing with this is that I can change the master level and it won't make a difference for the recording in OBS. So let's go back to the basics. We have two different kind of buses, auxiliary buses and submix buses. Submix, you can think about groups. So we can send, let's say, the two first tracks 
to the submix bus and then uh, create a bus for the drums and create a bus for the guitars and after that those buses can go anywhere they can go um, on an output to be recorded again through an external device or they can go to uh, the master bus the submix bus that i created there which goes to the master um, so an auxiliary bus is like a tiny mixer that you can send different levels of different tracks to that auxiliary bus a submix bus there's no level you send the output of the track the complete output which won't go anywhere else uh, directly to the submix bus and then the submix bus if you change the level you'll change the level of let's say the old drum at once or um, all, every guitars at once why are we doing this of course auxiliary bus can receive fx and submix bus can receive fx as well the difference is if you send a signal to an auxiliary bus the let's say we put that to some mix as well you see my auxiliary one goes to some mix which is this one and uh, both tracks are going there as well so what it will do is you will still hear the original signal but an added signal coming from the auxiliary auxiliary bus so let's do it i'm gonna put a reverb on this very basic and i'm gonna send some signal to it so i'm gonna do a loop right here i'm gonna loop this is a test of recording in samplitude pro x6 this is a test of recording in samplitude pro x6 this is a test of recording in samplitude pro x6 Okay, so we hear both signal the original and the reverb and to show that we are we can lower the level of the auxiliary bus okay so let's play again this is a test of recording in samplitude pro x6 this is a test of recording in set okay just remember that if you lower this level we can rename it reverb you will lower the reverb sound uh, for all the instrument going in it so if i have the drums going there the, the vocal going there if i change this level i change the reverb for all those tracks now let's create another submix bus and uh, see the difference another submix we're going to call it a uh, vocal and the output will go to uh, the submix bus so our uh, obs will hear something vocal. and i'm going to place it right here and of course if i just hit play there's nothing going in the vocal submix bus okay this is a test of recording but i can change the output of the first track and send it to vocal and if i play this is a test of recording in samplitude pro x6 okay um and of course if i mute the reverb this is a test of recording in samplitude pro x6 this is a okay um let's let's do the difference so this is a, i'm gonna put it in red and this one i'm gonna put it in blue just to help you so the red is a submix bus and the blue is an auxiliary bus so if i hit play and I change the level of the, of the submix bus and I change the level of the uh, auxiliary bus, you'll see the difference. 
This is a test of recording in Samplitude Pro X6. Recording in Samplitude Pro X6. This is a test of recording in Samplitude Pro X6. This is a test of recording in Samplitude Pro X6. This All right, so remember this. Auxiliary bus means that you are you are going to add something to the actual sound of the track. And the submix bus is redirecting that sound somewhere else so it won't be duplicated like an auxiliary bus. Okay. Alright, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, go into the description, there's a link to buy some merch if you want to help the channel. Of course, another way to help the channel is to play many videos and share those videos, it's always a great help.